Welcome back folks, this is Anthony Valentine, your camper day. We're on a windy morning this morning, so uh, forgive me if the microphone doesn't quite stand up to the job, but I'll do a bit more talking inside. Right, today on auction, no reserve, um, 27 years young, 94 on an Emrech, Toyota Hiace 2.8 diesel automatic. It was imported in 2015 when it was 21 years young and the last lady has had it for seven years. So one English lady owner when it was in this country and obviously in Japan for 20 years. Well, it's outstanding. We've got a few little touch-ups and superficial little bodywork issues and bumps, but only very minor. It's not going to deteriorate or pull away from the actual uh, enjoyment of the vehicle. I think it's a good usable vehicle as it is. But of course, if you want to take it to that next level, you may so wish and may have to have a little bit of a paperwork done. But I'm being fussy and pedantic, uh, as I like to have them nice. Okay, so this is actually a fully converted, genuine one that we ought to talk into Yoko Hammer, if I'm pronouncing it properly, motor sales. So this was converted from brand new in 94 in Japan. It's got the uh, awning, just one note. I've just pulled out the awning to take some pictures. It's just not going in quite tight enough. And to pull out the legs, you just need a screwdriver here to pull these out. So I think you're always going to need a screwdriver to pull the legs out. I'm going to have a little look at this to see if I can get that to fit in flusher. Yeah? Uh, if not, just bear that in mind. It's just holding out a little bit there, but it's nice and tight. It's not going anywhere. No rips. Okay, so you can see it's got a hard fiberglass roof coming round. So yeah, there's got a few little if the camera. I'm going to zoom in a bit later on the video, but there's a, just a few little touch-ins on the bodywork. Really, for 27 years old, a little bit of a scrape here, but I'll go into further detail. It's lovely. It's got a, a tow bar, very useful feature. That's actually the Japanese wiring, but you've actually got the wiring there for a tow bar if you wanted to convert that and put an English plug on. That's about the worst dent on it. For some reason, the fridge was removed. So it's, I'll show you that shortly inside, but it's still got the vents for the fridge and the wiring and the gas is close by. So if you wish to add a fridge at any stage, later stage, or just put a 12 volt uh, compressor fridge in, that's completely up to you. It's got a 12 volt plug, but unfortunately that goes in to the Japanese wiring box. So it blows a UK fuse. So if you wished, you've got the wiring there, that goes into under the rear seat. You can disconnect that from the Japanese wiring box and then put main sockets in if you was parked up on mains. Coming through the driver's side, yeah, getting the bodywork for 27 years old. We actually picked this up last week. My wife drove it back through uh, the Welsh valleys. I think it was just over 100 miles completed. It drove wonderful. You, you'd be happy to sit in that and drive anywhere. 2.8 diesel automatic with legendary Toyota uh, running gear, reliability. In fact, I'm gonna put my guarantee and warranty to this. I'm so confident it's very rare that a motor dealer would want to put a warranty on a 27 year old vehicle. I'll guarantee that engine and gearbox for 12 months. How does that sound? I can't be any further than that. Everything else, there's no warranty. It is what it is. Uh, the gas has been changed at some stage, so there's no warranty on that. It's sold as Spurs or Ripper on the inside. I can't put a habitation certificate on, but on the actual running gear and the engine and gearbox, I'm happy. I'll even drive it anywhere in the country. So I personally will deliver this. That will be included in the winning bid. It's 162 km, which is just a fraction over 100 divided by 1.6. So we're talking about 101,000 miles. Nothing for a 27 year old Toyota. So yeah, I'll be happy. I'll drive this personally in anywhere in the mainland United Kingdom. All I'm ask is a lift to the nearest train station. I can't be further than that. And I'm even going to include the 12 month of the engine gearbox warranty. Okay. So I'll go into further detail shortly after. We'll give a little fly round of Dennis the drone and we'll have a look on, on the roof and I'll go inside with the video. Okay, Dennis.
Thanks for that, Dennis. Okay, let's go inside. So it actually doubles up as a sort, sort of a small minibus, a seven seater. Obviously we've got the two front seats at the front. Rafts of paperwork, by the way, off the last lady. Lots of old MOTs, bits and bobs of bills and such, but yeah, help yourself to look at that. All the seats lovely. So yeah, it's got this uh, unique setup. So we've got the three bench here and the two bench there. That rear one actually slides just out just a little bit, not a lot, but it does a bit. Um, and that converts, drops down, slides forward, that drops down into a, a double bed. But you've got the uh, all the five sets of lap belts. Now, I don't know whether it's gonna be a bit tricky, but I'll try. This lever here, you pull this lever and what that does is concertinas it round the, that way. So then this can be the base, that can be the rear, uh, backed up towards the seats. And then there's the table leg there. We've got the table leg there. And we've got the table above. And this actually is the two plus two. So we've got two bed mattress uh, fillings here. So they slide back into here. And then you can put two children up there. But yeah, a great little setup. So a seven seater everyday vehicle to use. Drives lovely. But obviously you've got the full uh, workings of a, a camper van. Just open the rear tailgate. This uh, water is actually working. I can't remember whether it, I just can't remember. How it was, it's definitely working that. Uh, I'll show that on a picture. So yes, uh, here, was clearly a fridge and that is a 12 we've tested that that's a 12 volt supply where the engine's running but for some reason it's been removed I'm not sure why uh, it would originally have had a single burner inside this little tray but at some stage some owner has fitted this well what should I call it a contraption it certainly wouldn't uh, the last ladies used it so you've got the two gas burner hobs, you've got the grill and it all works. But obviously I can't put a habitation certificate to that. So for that reason, it will be on sale for Spurs or repair. So on, upon delivery, the gas bottles there, the color gas bottle, pipes there, regulator. As I say, it does work, but upon delivery, this will be disconnected. So it's not sold with any guarantee. I'm not putting my name to this. So if you wish to connect that, that's completely up to you. Just go back in the side door. Get out of the wind. Well, let's see if I can convert this. So we just pull this lever. It might be a bit tricky holding the camera. I'm just gonna try. Pull this lever. And this no, it's gonna be too tricky with the camera. Oh yeah, we can, we can. Watch this. So I'm just holding the camera there and I can just slide that over, put that into place. And then we just slide that back and that will sit, have a, that will go back and sit to all the back seats and that'll create the backrest. So you've got a fully forward facing table set up or as you've just seen there, it's folded out and the same will happen to that. That will pull forward and fold down. Uh, jack and brace in there. There's the jack and the tools here. We've even got more cupboard space underneath. Underneath this seat is the original Japanese air conditioning unit, so it would have had air conditioning. It's not working. I would suggest that's going to be very tricky and difficult. Uh, and underneath here has got the Japanese wiring for the Japanese mains electric, but again, that's not working. So Electric wise inside you've got two, you haven't got a, a leisure battery, you've got a couple of lights, this one's working, yeah that's fine, but it is working off the engine battery, so that's just something to be careful of, you don't want, you can have them on as long as you want if you've got the engine running, but you don't want them on too long if you're parked up without, oh it's got a reading light here, no that one's not working, I'll have a quick look at that, no promises, but if it's something straightforward like a bulb or a switch, I'll get that checked out for you. Okay, I'll span the camera around. And there you've got the lovely 
upstairs area so you've got plenty of storage area here but you've also got two flat mini mattresses and what they will do will slide here i'll do some pictures and that'll create a large area for storage or two children could sleep up there no problem no considering the age it's uh, it's not in bad condition at all no smells this certainly doesn't appear to have any smokers in its history cupboards i think that's where the table leg fits That at some stage would have been, I've seen these on a couple of Japanese vehicles, so that would have been an, an original Japanese TV unit. Stand. More cupboards underneath the side. And there we have it. So it's a great old multifunctional tool. Toyota Hi-Ace Rel legendary reliability 2.8 turbo diesel it drives lovely i'll be happy to deliver it anywhere in the country that's included in the winning bid or you can collect it here from Campernerd hq in scarysbrick l408jg viewing is uh, recommended and encouraged so just uh, would like to show you a few minor imperfections obviously i'm being pedantic and fussy so that's one there. It's had a couple of touches in on its history. These are protective covers. It's got these to all the doors, so that's a nice. Uh, it's got all these on all the doors edges, so there's no damage to the door edges. Couple of places where it's been touched in here. I think that's the worst scrape. Even that's not too bad. Good tyres. MOT till July 22 with not a single advisory. In fact, they just wanted, I think it was a brake light bulb and a wiper blade or some washer water. That's all it wanted. But yeah, so it's got a full MOT, uh, full MOT, an advisory MOT till July 22. Even the struts hold the tailgate up. No problem whatsoever. And we've got another cupboard here. I think this will gain access to the water. It will, yeah. And there's the shore flow pump. There's another place where it's been touched in at some stage. And I think that's about the worst. It's got a dent on the rear corner. Yeah, it's clearly backed into something at some stage. But no, all in all, it's far superior to an average vehicle. If you do your homework, these are commanding anywhere up to £10,000. They just really do last the test of time. Let's have some paintwork there. There's a few little chips there grazed on the bottom of the bumper. But everything's there solid. Obviously, it's uh, who it won't make that. As I say, you've got the fridge missing, uh, the gas would need checking out but it does work but everything else it'll make a very good usable day bus and camper van the last lady had it for seven years and she just wild camped in it so she never plugged in and uh, it served her well and it'll certainly serve the next owner well as well okay thanks for watching this short video my name's anthony valentine the camper nerd you can ask me any questions by phone call or WhatsApp on 0798 526 1078. I'll be happy to answer any questions in office hours. And I repeat, I'll be happy to deliver this anywhere in the United Kingdom. I'm that confident of it and include 12 months guarantee on the engine and gearbox. I can't be any further than that. Thanks for watching, folks. I'll catch you on that next video.